check the mic and make sure it sound right, boys. all season long that's one of the most interesting storylines that we have in the Go out on a limb here by saying this is it could probably be the best later i'll discuss that on my piece of the game derban misfires egilos with the offensive rebound jamo escapes the defense of balti well this is the first big man that balti baltasar is really gonna a post and is composed when he makes his move well, jamo egilos after all is a champion already when he played with batangas and he reached the finals last year with zamboanga but he just got scored on by teams today suddenly the mighty bahor city strikers look small height wise against Pampanga as they are experiencing the MPBL finals for the first time they are definitely hungry nice speed by Hio to JLC Storm, ito tingnan muna natin yung bit of action nice bounce pass he did mention that's the versatility of all the land miss the presence of Balti Baltasar making everybody go away from the basket there we see point guard point everybody can run everybody can dribble that bring that ball down they they can all create very tough to defend and that's why for Pasig City in particular as Egilos passes the ball to Marquis back to Jamo almost traveled he scores nice escape but a sorry miss for Egilos forward pass signature Pampanga two points for Archie Bahio looking up against Marquis Bahio drives Bahio Almost lost his footing, he's still offensive rebound. They go to Archie, his three-pointer is good! You take a look at this three-point shot brought to you by Extreme One Stop Shop Appliances, the former bench warmer and our reigning homegrown player of the year delivering the goods. Napakaganda, no? But that, that was because... NJ Garcia working with Balti. Garcia Balti, oh, ho, ho. a three-pointer for Balti Baltazar. Well, very deceiving talaga. No? On the floor, but he looks to be okay. Encho Serrano from downtown, yes, sir. The crowd is roaring here. Um, well, Sayang, but here we see another shot into Serrano for the three so it's the same angle with same results for Balti Baltazar and Enzo Serrano nine on the shot clock mismatch for Mike there's the double team Ludovice for three that's a good look probably the first three that they'd hit first lang talaga ang uh, Bacor to shoot from the outside Sangalang misfires and that's gonna do it City strikers. Well, Una, I put it down. Every point counts. Everybody is. So far, we have three offensive rebounds for Pampanga, and overall rebounding, there's a plus four for the Giant Lanterns. As Joel Liu just made a bucket for the strikers. Well, yun nga, nabanggit natin. Liu goes to Ludovice, who drives and scores. Well, this unit right now, no? Coming off the bench, napakaganda pinapakita for ba the first time I'm covering this game. <laughs> Let's take a look at this wonderful move by Ivan Ludovice. He really has to step up, coming off the bench, taking on his experience. You have to score as well. It's out 21 to 14. Kurt Grayson will fire. Welcome back to the MPBL. And these are the things that are very important for Bacoor. And ng, ng Pampanga, every, every miss of Bacoor, they run 9-0 fast break points. Sila sa first quarter mix. And to Serrano for his fifth as he bent. Right to us by Coach Louis Gonzalez. Derbal with a kick out. Mark Yee picks. The 41-year-old leaning in and scoring. Great move. Is keeping himself there, but Jan Mal had the about the sar and opted to pass. Balti going left, laying that ball up with his right hand. Be brotherly to each other. We're in Kaya Munang Amoyen, but there we go. It's Kurt Grayson making his second three pointer in this game as he first 
three-pointer on the break for Kurt Grayson, the Letran Knight. And in that replay that we just showed, no, no, dun mo makikita baka or ran back down on defense. Ayong umasa sa isa't isa. Makes and Coach Davey. In terms of three-point shooting, as Archie scores inside, baka or to eight. Oh nga, and that's the reason why they have this lead. Aside from the fast break points, everybody forcing, forced to run down on defense, and then they take those outside shots. But it's not a priority for offensive rebound because baka or is focused on rebounding. Chito Jaime with the three. That's back to back. Makes from downtown for Chito Jaime. After all, this is. Ano pagyan nagumpisa na kaya ng kanya ituloy. Great block there by Chito Jaime. This was the previous block by the 40-year-old Chito Jaime. Quarter na rin si Chito Jaime. Yeah, he's 40. Wow. Versatility na mga players. Everybody can run and jump. What a feed, JLC. After 22 seconds. Virtually no more shot clock. Rayson will fire. Bombs away. Well, Aaron Heruta was down covering the man. Janner Malshut. Four seconds here. Heruta goes to Egilos. Jamo has to fire. Egilos made oh! the basket. That's going to count. And there was a foul as well. Ito makita natin. Let's see. There you go. Very close though. Very close, but the foul was first. Yeah. The light went on, so he should. So this, the clock should have stopped as well, right? Yes. The foul was called, the shot, I think. So referee Jay Castroverde will now talk to Richard Tampos, our OG arena announcer. Basket is good for Jaymo Aguilos. Oh, he got the ball off. Oh, he gets an extra one from the line. Here's the bonus. Oh. That's no good. But if we can go back to one of our points in the first half, the defense of Bahor that we would want to hold up, especially back to the statement of Coach Alex Angeles in our press conference, that they would want to limit the scoring in this game. Our press conference that happened inside the Bodega Kitchen Ball just scored. Yeah, nakikita natin sa replay. Sinungkit niya yung braso to get a foul. Go for the foul first if he can finish up the shot. Now, Bahor has numbers. Jan Nermal. No basket, Egilos will score. Well, Balti Baltasar wanted to challenge, leaving. Natahil daw sa excitement na ito, nawawala ang patience when it comes to execution. Let's see if the strikers can address this. Bigs and Coach Ravi. NJ Garcia just scored off of positions. They really have to play as a team. Kurt Racer with his third three-pointer in the game. For Kurt Racer. 42-33, Egilos will fire. That's good. Okay, Jamo Egilos, once he's defending Bauti. There's the kick out, Rayson. Three-pointer! Out to Kurt, two-man game. Rayson fakes, Rayson drives and feeds. Liwan, one-hander is good. Rayson making that three-pointer and then giving out this time to Alan Liwag. What a play. Dark jerseys, quick to be back on defense. Chito Jaime, offensive rebound. He's been trying to be the spark plug for Bahor City. No call there, forward pass. The easiest two points of the night for John Noy Clemente. Well, get that miss from Bahor, everybody's out running. Ooh, Lester Reyes getting tangled up with Bhakti Baltazar. And JB Bahio based. Well, obviously, this is not one of our best moments in the MPBL. We have passionate fans. Give me time. Hindi natin kailangan pagkuluto. 
nagigiusap ako, wala nang mambabato. Pag nakita natin, automatic, labas kayo ng court. Kapampangan. Walang bibitaw, kaya natin to. Walang bibitaw, magdasal lang tayo, kakayanin natin to. Without of the court, he will proceed to the locker room of Bacoor City safely with our bouncers, our marshals. Good job by our head of security, Rudy Distrito, handling things. Viernes. Ooh. Jeff Viernes was a different animal. Yeah. Short, all-star game. Um, it's a toss-up. Jeff Viernes was something else. Is that a good enough answer? away from the scenario of being here in Pampanga, go home, be with your family, forget the game. Shut down so far in this game. Can he come alive? The answer is still no. Aguilos turns around, then he gets the bounce. See that quick move, very simple. 12 points for Jamo Aguilos. Report. First things first, JB Bahio's cut under his left eye was a bit deep and it took a while before they could stop the flow of the blood, but he's fine now, just resting. Now on a lighter note, after everything, make one. Encho works with Balti. Serrano down the middle. No basket. Another board. And the putback for Balti. And there you see J. Garcia. So he's the one called for the foul. And there you see. To your point, Coach JB, nobody boxed Balti out. Nobody boxing him out. And this is the time when you really need to composure. But how do you get that? Maybe by losing this game on the first on their first house or play badly. And Not by the way, come Tuesday, they will have known already how it is. They need a couple of threes and John Ramal just hasn't been hitting and so is James Quekote, but this guy continues to do yeah. damage. Absent from the previous games ng Pampanga, so hindi ang hirap pag-aralan talaga. Aguilos will score on the other end. By the way, Curtis you got you, by I got you. <laughs> 65-52, James Quekote is rejected. But these are the things uh, James Quekote definitely will adjust to. Nice cut. Nice pass. Good. Pero first game, second game, wala pa masyadong crowd. Third Grayson. Fouled by Heruta. On half because they probably didn't need to. They made adjustments that, you know, kept them in the... Uh, and how long did he play in the first? Probably 14. <laughs> 14 minutes. It remaining in game one. John Derbal drives. And scores. I like what John Hermos did. That's it. Game number one belongs to the Pampanga Giant Lanterns.